Infrared thermal imaging, or thermography, is an amazing state-of-the-art technology that is utilized by progressive doctors as an empowering tool, particularly for breast health. Advanced doctors understand that inflammation is at the root of all disease, and that 98% of disease is caused by their patient's lifestyle choices. Inflammation creates heat. Thermography can detect temperature changes related to inflammation years before an anatomical screening like mammography, ultrasound, or MRI can detect a mass. Anatomical options may ultimately detect a cancerous lump, but if common sense prevails, we have to ask, is it wise to cross our fingers and just wait for that mass to become large enough to finally be detected? If we can detect inflammation at an early stage, we are then given the opportunity to address the cause and take healing action in an effort to eliminate it long before disease develops, therefore preemptively curing it. Thermography cannot be patented by the medical industry as it has been utilized for decades by our military, our police departments, and for many other modalities, including for space exploration. Its continuing development allows us to collect important and fascinating data from light years away. Imagine what we can detect from just a few feet away. Thermography is not restricted by the patient's age. It is a risk assessment tool that can be utilized by women of all ages and is effective for imaging all breast types, including breast implants, reductions, and dense breasts. Not only can thermography detect increased blood flow that could be cancer related, it can also be very helpful in detecting early signs of inflammation that may be due to lymphatic congestion, dietary choices, stress, and hormone imbalances. Medical infrared technology has been utilized for decades and does not harm our environment. It is completely non-invasive and safe. There is no dangerous compression or radiation involved. It is painless and easy, and the thermal images are taken in just a few moments. Everyone has a unique thermal vascular roadmap that thermography can help monitor over time. If your thermal data indicates change in your roadmap, it gives you the opportunity to take preventative action. This is a beautiful low-risk thermogram. With a quick education, anyone can easily understand the data thermal imaging provides. You can clearly see that both breasts are similar in color when compared contralaterally. This indicates that the temperatures are similar in both breasts. There is also a smooth thermal outline of each breast. The red and white regions under the arms and in the neck region and under the breasts near the rib cage are where we would expect areas to be warmer. This is a high risk thermogram. This patient was alerted to systemic inflammation as well as a significantly prominent thermovascularity, or blood flow, in the upper outer quadrant of her left breast. Instead of panicking, she decided to work with a progressive doctor to implement a healing strategy. After just five months of significant changes to her diet, hormonal balance, and utilizing lymphatic drainage and stress management therapies, it is obvious that her efforts had a tremendous influence on lowering her thermobiological risk. This is so incredibly exciting. Thermograms speak for themselves. Her images continue to inspire her to stay on a healthier path. As we know, physiological changes occur many years before a structural change. During this patient's first thermogram, she is alerted to high risk. After further evaluation, unfortunately, she was diagnosed with an early stage of breast cancer. Her thermogram gave her the opportunity to intervene as soon as possible. This 28-year-old patient's thermogram correlates her report of pain in her left breast. Her thermal data assists her and her doctor in further evaluation, giving them the opportunity to create a plan of action before a lump develops. This patient received decades of negative mammograms. Anyone can see that her thermogram indicates significant asymmetry between her breasts. It is always heartbreaking to have a patient receive a high risk after her first thermogram, knowing she could have been alerted to physiological changes taking place for years. After an MRI and a biopsy, sadly she was diagnosed with stage four cancer. She believes that the repeated ionizing radiation received from years of mammograms increased her risk of getting cancer and that the compression most likely spread her cancer. She has a similar story. 
This is her first thermogram after decades of mammograms failed to detect her cancer. She intuitively knew something was wrong. So she took it upon herself to start having mammograms every six months, not realizing mammography's risk of potentially spreading cancer if present. She ran into a friend of hers who told her about thermography. As soon as this image was taken, she could see that she was right. There was most likely a serious issue. An MRI and biopsy confirmed stage four cancer. Obviously, she was angry and frustrated that she was not aware thermography is an option many years before this image was taken. If a woman does receive a cancer diagnosis, she can utilize thermography to help monitor her treatment efforts. Doctors who are not currently recommending thermography are most likely unaware of the importance of monitoring for inflammation and changes in their patient's physiology, nor do they understand the importance of getting to the root of those changes in an effort to heal them before disease develops. Our current medical industry business model seems to be more focused on a prescription pad. So education is the key. Women in their 20s can start utilizing thermography. It helps them engage in their breast health early in life instead of blindly playing a waiting game. As we know, knowledge is power. So know the risks versus the benefits of all of our breast imaging options. Let's take a look at the differences. Comparing thermography to an anatomical screening like mammography is like trying to compare having your temperature taken to having a chest x-ray. Thermography is a physiological test to be monitored over time similar to when your doctor monitors your weight, your blood pressure, and your overall body temperature with a thermometer. Changes in this data may indicate changes in your overall physiological state of being. Utilizing preventative strategies just makes great sense. More and more women are finding this to be a much better option than just crossing their fingers and waiting for a mammogram to potentially discover a cancerous lump a cancer that has most likely taken years to grow large enough for a mammogram to finally detect. Mammograms can be effective for imaging tumors and microcalcifications in fatty breasts, but are not as effective in imaging dense breasts or breasts with implants. Over 40% of women have dense breasts. Those women tend to be young women and healthier women. Trying to find cancer within a dense breast with a mammogram is like trying to find a white rabbit in a snowstorm. As we know, mammography's ionizing radiation is accumulative and can increase your risk of actually getting cancer. Just as concerning, per the United States Preventative Services, compression could spread cancer if present. Repeated compression can also damage delicate breast tissue or rupture an implant. Far too many women find a lump between their annual mammograms. Is it then wise for her doctor to prescribe a mammogram knowing the risks involved? The lump has already been located, so it is not necessary to have a mammogram at that point. It is important to remember that mammograms do not prevent or diagnose disease. A biopsy would be needed. Though ultrasound is an anatomical test, meaning it will detect a structural change, it is a wonderful technology that is effective for imaging dense breast tissue and can help determine if a lump is a fluid-filled cyst or a dense mass. An infrared guided ultrasound can be very beneficial. A thermogram's physiological data can help guide the ultrasound to a region of interest. MRI is also an amazing technology. It has a high level of sensitivity, though it can also produce false positives and false negatives, and some of the contrasting agents include heavy metal. I want to reiterate that none of our imaging options prevents or diagnoses cancer. It is also important to know all of the facts before deciding on an imaging option. One of the most important facts is knowing you have the right to choose which options are best for you. I lost my mother to breast cancer in 1991. She was only 49 years old and she was my best friend. After helplessly witnessing what my poor mother endured after her breast cancer diagnosis and knowing that the discovery of a miracle cure for cancer was highly unlikely, I was determined to take preventative action as my best strategy in an effort to avoid the same fate. 
thermography is an essential part of my strategy. I am very fortunate to have discovered this technology in my early 30s. It has been invaluable for me to be able to monitor my own unique thermovascular roadmap for physiological changes over the years. I am now well into my 50s and enjoying a very happy and healthy lifestyle. As you can tell, I believe engaging in your whole health at an early age is the new paradigm. An essential part of the new paradigm is for young women to educate themselves on how to achieve optimal breast health. But regardless of age, utilizing breast thermography helps educate and empower women to be proactive. One of the many benefits of thermography is that it provides temperature data and imagery that the patient can easily comprehend. As logic dictates, it is up to you to take responsibility and actively engage in your whole health. Be well.